Hello and welcome to Crazy Burger. So in this video I'm going to be looking at my top 10 shoot 'em ups on Evercade. Um, and admittedly this isn't my favourite genre at all. Um, probably due to the fact that I'm not particularly good at them. But however, I have enjoyed some of these games regardless of how I actually feel about the genre. Um, and just a small caveat, some of the games are classed as shooters or shoot 'em ups on Evercade's own website. So some of the games might not be your traditional shoot 'em ups, so to speak, but they are still classed as shooters or shoot 'em ups. So what I'm going to do is start off with the Namco Collection 2, which obviously isn't um, compatible on your VS. So that means I need to get out the trusty old purple one. Uh, yeah, the purple Evercade that is so that we can get these games played. So let's get started. Okay, starting off with Dragon Spirit um, from Namco Collection 2, and just a little note here, uh, none of the games are actually ranked, I've not put them in any specific order, they're just 10 of my favourite games that I would recommend to anyone that likes this genre. Uh, now this is the NES version um, of the arcade original, and it's a really good version I think. Um, obviously you've got that kind of annoying flickering every now and again, which is just part of being a NES game I guess, but it's still a very good uh, conversion. Um, the NES certainly had some really decent arcade conversion, especially around about this sort of time period, uh, especially, and this is fantastic. I really enjoyed playing through this. Um, again, it's not really my favourite genre, but I really enjoyed it. I kind of enjoyed, you can obviously um, use your um, bombs to get the the enemies that are on the ground, and then you can obviously then switch to the, the other firepower, and you can upgrade all the, the usual stuff that you would find in a shoot 'em up and there's bosses at the end of each level. It's really good, but yeah, it's still quite tricky. You'll certainly need to spam those save states to make any progress. And again, it's not really arcade, so you can't go just um, keeping certain coins. You're really going to have to um, watch what you're doing. And uh, what I liked about this game is that you could take a few hits. It wasn't one of those things, one hit, one kill, which absolutely frustrates the heck out of me. Um, I like one that gives me a little bit of a chance. You've got an energy bar and sometimes if you upgrade it you can have two energy bars and it gives you a chance to make some kind of progress and takes away that frustration level from the game. But I think this is a great game. Okay, so sticking with Namco Collection 2, which is a really decent car, um, and we're going to go with the classic Galaga, um, which is obviously a real good classic static sort of shoot 'em up, the sort of traditional Space Invader style shoot 'em ups way back in the day. What a great title, what a great arcade conversion as well on the NES. Um, and I love the music as well. It certainly kind of reminds me of the old arcade games back in the day, which were obviously part of your childhood. But wow, what a great version. I'm not particularly great at it. Never made massive progress on it, but I've always enjoyed it. Um, it's certainly a challenge. Um, and I was almost tempted to put in Galaxian, but um, I think this game is definitely the better one of the two. I think it's, it's an excellent game. <laughs> Okay, so this one might be a controversial inclusion, given the fact that it's classed as a shooter on Evercade's website. It's maybe an action game, shooting game, I really don't know. But anyway, I'm going to include this here because it's an excellent, excellent game. Um, obviously, you do a heck of a lot of shooting in the game. It's all about the shooting and destroying all the enemies. So it's certainly got that same kind of vibe. So a little bit controversial, maybe. Um, and obviously this, I've actually dumbed it down to the easier level, um, but it's still a rock solid game to play through. But it's a really enjoyable game, 
and yeah I think the Evercade version might even be the best version out there given the fact it works so well on the controller, they've mapped the controls perfectly and it's not something I'm going to say very often to um, Evercade products because sometimes they just don't get it right but I think they absolutely nailed this one and it's an absolutely brilliant game, I really enjoy this game despite the fact it's rock solid it's an excellent game, really worthy of any top 10 list regardless what genre it is really. So moving on to Alligator Hunt from the Ga Elko Arcade Collection 1, one of my favourite carts overall um, and this is a fantastic crosshair shooter slash shoot em up. It's bonkers, makes no sense but it's brilliant um, and it's got an amazing soundtrack as well, absolutely banging soundtrack um, and it's really addictive to play and yeah it might be quite tricky but you can just keep on putting in those coins and just make progress and just play it at your will. Um, and admittedly, I think there was some issues with the save states uh, at some point through this game, whereas I think if you saved the game, came back at a later date, the music would cut off at some point. It wasn't a major issue, but it, it certainly had some problems here and there. But what an amazingly fun game to play. So much going on, great graphics, great music. It's just bonkers. I don't even know why the boy's on a skateboard to start with. Makes no sense. Um, but eventually you do go into uh, a space a spaceship, then you get into space and it becomes more of a traditional style sort of shoot 'em up so to speak um, and it's brilliant, it really is great fun. I mean arguably it might even be the best game on this collection, um, I guess there are a lot of other great games on this collection but this is certainly one of the better ones, amazing stuff. <laughs> Okay, from one great collection to another, this is Jalico Arcade Collection 1 and the game I'm choosing here is Cy Battler, um, which is one of those gems I'd never heard of before, never played, um, so it was a pleasant surprise to me. It's obviously ideal for your EXP Tate mode um, and it's a great blast, really good fun. It's certainly a lot trickier right enough than like Alligator Hunt for instance because um, you can't really just insert coin after coin and just keep continuing. I think you get sent back to the start of the level if I recall, um, which kind of a wee bit frustrating for me. I'm, I'm progress is definitely limited. But you can see here, you obviously need to be strategic in how you actually use your firepower. It's got a certain amount of charge. You can obviously upgrade the weapons. Um, and then you've got a kind of a, I think another weapon you can just use up close to the enemies as well and sort of slash them away, so to speak. But well, it's a traditional shooter um, style. Um, and it's really good fun to play and I really enjoyed it, it's an absolute blast to play.
Moving on to another fantastic collection, this is the Renovation Collection one, and there's actually a lot of really good shooters on here, um, but I'm going to choose Granada. Um, and yeah, it's maybe not, even though it's classed as a shoot 'em up here, it maybe not scream out as you as being a traditional shoot 'em up style game. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of shooting going on. You're basically taking out all the enemies in red that's on the radar on the bottom right hand of the screen there. Um, so you can basically almost ignore everything else that's going on. Just try and um, take out all the red stuff and then you'll get to the end of level boss. And you do that in every single level. Um, I really enjoyed playing this one. It's, it's a good challenge. It is very, very tough right enough. It's not an arcade game, so you're going to have to be careful in your progress. Just try and utilise those save states as best as you can. But with regardless of what you do, you, your energy just or your shield just keeps going down and down. It's almost impossible at times to avoid the enemy firepower. But it's good fun. I really enjoy this game. Um, and yeah, I totally recommend it to anyone. I would totally recommend the Renovation Collection to anyone as well. It's overall a fantastic cart. Really, really good. <laughs> Okay, moving on to Tour Plan Arcade Collection 1. This one contains quite a lot of shooters, as you would expect, since they are a shoot 'em up specialist. Um, but the one I've chosen is Zero Wing, which I really enjoyed. It's a traditional shoot 'em up game, horizontal scrolling. Um, and I, I really enjoyed this one, it was a little bit different to me um, given the fact you can change through different sort of weapons, you can suck up the enemies and fire them use them as firepower and fire them back at the, the enemies as well I didn't really utilise that one too often to be honest, I just felt it's a, a nice little gimmick but it kind of got a little bit painful at times to actually use, I just stuck to the firepower I think you definitely get to a point where you prefer some firepower over the other so sometimes I'll try to avoid picking up certain colours uh, or upgrades because I just knew it would give me problems trying to take out some of the enemies um, but I thoroughly enjoyed this one, I played it through to completion which is something I probably don't often do in shoot 'em ups um, but I actually really enjoyed it, I just kept on playing in certain coin after coin must have spent something like a thousand pounds but I guess in reality um, to actually finish the game um, which is a bit crazy because no one would have probably spent that kind of money in an arcade so uh, not sure anyone would have ever finished it or had enough money to finish it, but what an amazing fun game to play regardless. It's great, it's on this collection um, and it's definitely worthy of anyone's top 10 games of shoot 'em ups, that's for sure. And just to prove I actually played a game through to completion, here you go, congratulations to me. Got to laugh at these endings, full of dodgy English, and the fact that this is all you get after playing through the game is disappointing, but not totally unheard of of those games back in the day. So sticking with Tour Plan Arcade Collection 1, I'm going for Truxton as my next game, which is another game that's probably better off for your EXP Tati mode. But regardless, this is a fantastic uh, sort of shoot 'em up. Really good fun. Great graphics. Great sound. Is again, um, it's quite similar to a lot of games that um, to a plan uh, sort of put out there. But I think this is probably one of the better ones. It's still really, really tough. Rock solid, hard. Um, given the fact it's obviously one hit, one kill kind of thing, and if you sort of die, you get sent back a little bit, so a little bit of frustration, um, and that's just me. But if you love your shooters, this is certainly one of the best examples for me that, that Tua planned on. It's absolutely fantastic. And there was a, actually a sequel, which I 
thought we might have seen on Tour Plan Arcade 2, but I guess it's a little bit trickier to emulate and we, we might not see that one, I guess. But it's just a massive shame because it was really, really decent as well. Okay, moving on to Team 17 Collection 1, another fantastic collection, and this is Project X Special Edition 93, um, and I really actually enjoyed this one, despite the fact that it's rock solid. Again, another one that's just hard, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just so bad at these games that they feel more difficult than they actually are, um, but I, I love this one, it's very polished, feels really good, great sound effects, yeah, yeah. Great music as well, absolutely brilliant, I love it. Um, and it's obviously great that we have Amiga games on Evercade. I hope we see much, much more as we go forward um, because there's so many gems out there that I think a lot of people would love to play. Um, but anyway, moving on, this is a great game. Hard as nails right enough um, and I love the, the way you can sort of pick up those P, I don't know what the P stands for again, um, but you can then utilise that. You can let it build up slowly, then choose, let's speed them up guns, side missiles, all that kind of thing and then upgrade your ship as you go. It's up to you when you choose to activate that and sometimes I really just ended up killing myself because I'm trying to collect all those uh, floating peas and end up really just dying because I, I'm concentrating too much on that and rather than the actual enemies. Um, probably one of the things that I fall down on I guess. I really just need to concentrate more on the enemies um, and sort of come up with some different strategies to actually play these games. Um, maybe I'll get better one day, but I doubt it. Anyway, really enjoyed this game. Really good. Select now for Speedo. So to the final game on Pico Arcade 1, this is Steel Force. It's a little bit like Xeno Crisis given the fact it's not really your traditional shoot 'em up style game, but it is classed as a shooter on Evercade's own website and you can probably see why. All you do through the game is shoot, 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 hold down the button and scroll through all through the levels, get to the final boss, move on to the next level type of thing. It's an absolute blast, it's a crazy action fest never stops you just keep going the enemies keep coming at you they just keep respawning and so you just have to keep on moving um, absolutely brilliant game great blast fun um, and i really enjoyed it through to completion um, absolutely fantastic stuff uh, admittedly it does look a lot like the alien breed games and you're probably wondering why i didn't include the alien breed games on here but they are not really traditional shooters at all given the fact they're more strategic style games um, you can't really go all guns blazing in Alien Breed because you'll run out of bullets and it'll just be a really frustration uh, central for you but this is definitely all about shooting everything you see and I think it's absolutely fantastic, a great blast to play.
Okay guys, so this is bonus footage time. This is um, a game that's obviously not in the top 10, however it probably would be um, in anyone's top 10 games. This is 1944 The Loopmaster, which is on the Capcom collection, included within the EXP if you've got one. So I didn't really include this as part of the top 10 because not everyone has it. It's not in a cart, so it's not really available to everyone. However, I thought I'd include it here because I think this one is absolutely brilliant. Um, and certainly one of the best sort of shoot -up, traditional style shoot 'em ups that you could probably play on an arcade system. Uh, on the Capcom collection. 1944, look master, brilliant stuff, graphically superb, looks amazing and it's a blast and a half to play. Um, but anyway guys, that brings me to the end of the video. Please let me know your comments, let me know your top 10, top 5 shoot 'em ups on Evercade. There are a lot of shoot 'em ups that I didn't actually include in this video, which it's a tough choice because there are a lot of shoot 'em ups on Evercade now and I didn't include things like R-Type. Um, I like the game but it's so difficult, I just get frustrated with it, but I know there's a lot of people out there that love that game, that's just one example. There are tons, tons more that I'm sure will be in your top 10, so let me know what you think guys, what are your top 10 favourites, um, and thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.